I'm Tree, and this is Project Transparency. Although I'm thinking about changing that intro just because this is getting kind of silly. I, by now, shouldn't you know who I am? Especially, you know, you, Lane. Alright, so, because I didn't film yesterday because... Basically, I was just having a bad day, and I didn't feel so great, and I was tired, and the world is making me very, very, very sad. If you haven't been paying attention to the news, pay attention to the news. I'm going to do kind of a combined project transparency and the supplement today. Then, Lane and the rest of y'all, you only have one video to watch this week. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? The community calendar. We are getting closer, like, a month away from the last Definitely to Peer of the season. September 12th, from 5 to 8, I'll be at the Great Harvest Bread Company, where I was in July. I am going to be... I am currently designing some minimalistic chibi buttons for it. New designs that... You know, keep an eye out. You'll see them coming up on my, my Instagram and Tumblr and Patreon and other places as they get designed. But I'm going to do, like, collection buttons like Guardians of the Galaxy and Harry Potter and... Yeah. These are either going to be brilliant or they're going to fail horribly. There is no in-between with me. I'm also, for the first time, going to have posters for sale. Because the company that I get my postcard prints printed from, that are like on the wall behind me back there, like them, had like the best sale in the history of ever going on. So I'm going to have 18 by 24 inch posters for the purchasing, should you want them. I'm very excited about this. And I like, you know, as of two hours ago just finished another commission. This time it's for the Rainbow Hub where I'm deputy editor. So when it goes live like the first time it's used I will put it in the next video I do after it's used because I don't want to like preview it publicly without it being where it's supposed to be first. However that being said I am going to sneak it onto my Patreon, and if you are a patron, you'll be able to see it early. So, Lane, it'll show up on your feed later. And aside from desperately need, needing to buy more Copic markers, because I always do, or just need masses of the refill inks, that's pretty much what my art life has been looking like this week. Sometimes it's just slow, you know? So... I don't know about you, Lane. Actually, we've had this conversation, I think, and I think you always say this sounds exciting, but then I don't remember you ever doing anything about it, so. But, okay, as deputy editor of the Rainbow Hub, I end up writing a lot of film reviews. This is the thing I do, and more and more films are coming out in 3D, and guess what? I get really motion sick, and they kind of give me headaches. There's these things. They're called 2D glasses. 2D glasses. And basically what they do is that they take 3D images and turn them into 2D. So it's like watching a non-3D movie. <laughs> and it's re really made watching all the movies I watch way more comfortable. So yay! You can get them from dftba.com. Hank Green is the one who came up with this brilliant idea. Like most things in the universe, there will be a link in the drawer. And Lane, it's that time of year again. It's the time for the new Dick Blick catalog to come out in all its beautiful gloriousness. Hmm. I'm so pleased. It's like art porn. Art porn is the best porn. And it also means that it's the time of year when the... that time of year when the brand new Dick Blick sale catalog comes out. 
I actually have two of these lanes, so if you want, I can give you one of them. I don't know why I get two of them, but I get two of them. So movies. Um, like I said, I review movies for the Rainbow Hub. And this last week I saw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I saw The 100 Foot Journey. And Lane, you know how I feel about food porn movies. Food porn movies are the best movies. I mean, things like Julia and Julia and Chocolat and yeah, it's they, they turn out to be like, it doesn't matter about the story, except it does, and 100 Foot Journey is no exception. It's actually directed by the same person who directed Chocolat. And the man has this strange obsession with peppers. I think he could have just had an entire film of footage of peppers in the marketplace and he would have been a very happy man. So it's really good. It's beautiful. The use of language is very interesting in it because English is the common language between Hassan and his family who are from Mumbai and Marguerite and Madame Mallory who are obviously from France and it doesn't translate for us when they're speaking in their native languages, which is really cool. So we understand what they understand. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was hysterically fun. It, it, it's not great cinema, but it's fun. And the beatboxing in the elevator was worth the price of admission right there. I also have recently, finally, seen The Losers, which is based on a graphic novel series. And Lane, you have to watch this. You will love it. Zoe Saldana is in it, and so is Chris Evans. Uh, Papa Winchester. The, it, it's really, really, really good <laughs> and completely irreverent. And Go Petunias is now like my go-to rally cry. TV. Because I know you don't watch a lot of TV, Lane. Um, but we have gotten the third season of Adventure Time. We haven't begun watching it yet, but we have it and it's just killing me that it looks like BMO. Seriously, what's better than BMO? And Dominion is finally over with its, with a surprise season finale and there's no indication whether or not it's going to be renewed or not. I could go either way because the, the way they've set up the end of the season, it really, the, the next season would really have to focus on the women and I am totally behind that especially if we get more Arika Evelyn and Uriel running about and making everybody's life miserable. I just kind of adore Uriel and the actress who plays her was also Perry the Fairy in Hex so she she's just naturally kind of unearthly if you remember Hex Lane. And I think I may be getting sucked into Warehouse 13 again. Last weekend we were at the farm and the trolls were there and they went to watch Warehouse 13 and I think I'm getting sucked into it again. <sighs> Not that that's a bad thing, I just, I get mad at sci-fi when it, with the way it makes episodes available of things. Sailor Moon Crystal continues to be amazing and Lane, you should be watching this. It's on Hulu. It's free. It's on Hulu. Watch Sailor Moon Crystal. It's completely absurd and completely brilliant. And Noma and I literally last night just started watching In the Flesh and I'm already in love with it. If you don't know Lane, it's a BBC show and it's, you know, how BBC runs series. So they're very short series. The first series is like three episodes. The second's like five or six, not very many. And it's, post zombie apocalypse where the zombies have been rehabilitated and like they're recognizant and everything and yes it's really cool it's 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 both like the most progressive analysis of mental health issues with the mantra for the partially deceased syndrome sufferers the zombies I am not responsible for what I did in my untreated state, but then you have like this curiarchical oppression where they can only, where the partially deceased syndrome sufferers can only exist and be reintegrated into human society under very narrow parameters. So it's like doing both of these things at once and it's really unsettling, but it's so good. Because Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I've been reading the LD LDW run of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I'm really enjoying it. I'm only about 
six, seven issues into it, and there's like 26 or something. So I'm not very far, but I'm enjoying what I've read of it so far. I'm also reading The Giver because The Giver movie comes out very soon. And I felt like I should be informed. I'm about a third of the way through the thing. And I'm literally sitting there going, why is this being made into a movie? And why are people obsessed with this novel? But that's basically because it's it's a young adult novel. It's a short young adult novel that it's, it's like 120 pages, 130 pages. It's more like a novella almost. It, you know, it's a dystopian future and the entire thing. And... I just don't think it's my jam. I, I didn't I didn't like young adult literature when I was a kid. And I I, I enjoy it more now that I'm an, I'm an adult, but I didn't like it as a kid. And I think The Giver is like an exemplar of everything I didn't like in young adult literature when I was a kid. And there's also this weird like conflation of sex and gender and a binarist like under a thing that's really making me very angry. I'm sure it's intentional and it's supposed to be there as a commentary, but it's still making me very angry. So I am still stuck in Wizard Rock, which is not surprising to anyone. I swear I came to like all the Harry Potter stuff really, really late. I read the novels kind of late compared to everybody else. And yeah, luckily the Harry Potter fandom doesn't really die out. Mind you, Wizard Rock is not the thriving industry it once was. But, yeah, I, I, I'm really enjoying Wizard Rock. Uh, Ministry of Magic is brilliant. I'm really enjoying Birdie. I, I've been enjoying her for several months, actually. Whenever Bastille covers anything, it's automatically 100% more awesome. City and Color and Daughter and Noah Gunderson are just some of my favorite people right now. Their, their music is just generally of the good. I know it might not be your taste in music flame because yes but you might like them from a from the standpoint of somebody who writes music and your favorite part of the video lane apps and this week I have one for you called Beatwave which is basically like a synthesizer on your iPhone and it actually is set up in that grid it reminds me of one of the synthesizers you have that's a grid of buttons that you assign and sound to except this is on your phone and there's layers of it and it's free and you should get it lane because I think you'll really like it it'd be something for you to do on your breaks at work you can compose weird electronic sounds I'm also using xkit a lot right now it's like a dollar ninety nine but it helps support the xkit guy which you know using tumblr the xkit guy is the reason why people who use tumblr aren't aren't very very displeased with tumblr most of the time because the xkit guy fixes the things that tumblr staff does that makes us all unhappy autodesk sketchbook mobile it's one of the few drawing apps that actually is on the iphone i have had it on my ipad before and didn't really like it on that because procreate does more what i want to but autodesk sketchbook mobile might be something that would be really useful for you to have at work for quick sketching I haven't had it on my phone very long. I haven't used it much yet. So, but it is also free. So it's not like, you know, you're, you're wasting any money if you don't like it. Pop Tile, it's a game that it's basically like reverse Tetris. I think you'll be okay with it. I mean, it's, you have to like collect the colors together to like break down the stack. I think you should be okay because Tonally, the colors are different enough where it's not an issue. But you'll have to let me know about that, okay? And the best app in the history of ever. It's a BMO app. Don't shake me too hard. Ow! I'm sorry. And BMO, <laughs> BMO has alarm settings and ringtones and photo manipulation and things, and it's all Adventure Time theme. And and BMO is free and amazing and 
yes, this is the best thing ever. BMO is my alarm clock now. BMO sings to me in Jake's voice about <laughs> about pancakes and bacon. And as you saw, BMO snores. Hmm. All right, that is everything for the week. I'm sorry you're getting it in all one video instead of something where you can choose whether or not you want to watch Project Transparency or you want to watch me play with BMO on my iPhone. So yeah, I'll see you soon, Lane. Bye. I muck you with my monkey pen.